The ability to speak does not make you intelligent, but the ability to answer these 10 hard Star Wars questions makes you a Star Wars pro. Let's get it. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of No Chit Chat Trivia. Today's episode on hard Star Wars questions is a dedication from Sarah to her boyfriend, Matt, in honor of his 22nd birthday that is today. So happy birthday, Matt. I'm told you're a big fan of Star Wars and up for the task of answering some more difficult questions. So let's jump right into our 10 hard questions on Star Wars. Alrighty, these questions are more difficult than they usually are here on the show, so don't get discouraged if you only get a few right. They are pretty hard. Alright, number one. What forest planet are Wookiees native to? What forest planet are Wookiees native to? Question number two, how many Star Wars films does Boba Fett make an appearance in? How many Star Wars films does Boba Fett make an appearance in? Number three, first appearing in Return of the Jedi, who is the closest associate and chief aide of the crime lord Jabba the Hutt? First appearing in Return of the Jedi, who is the closest associate and chief aide of the crime lord Jabba the Hutt? Question number four, what horrific event drove the Mandalorians into hiding? What horrific event drove the Mandalorians into hiding? Number five, what is the name of the only female of Yoda's species that has been seen in a Star Wars film or show? What is the name of the only female of Yoda's species that has been seen in a Star Wars film or show? Question six, who is the host of the web-based children's game show where contestants compete as Padawans in a series of obstacle courses and knowledge tests titled Jedi Temple Challenge? Who is the host of the web-based children's game show where contestants compete as Padawans in a series of obstacle courses and knowledge tests titled Jedi Temple Challenge? Our seventh question is, who is the only person to receive an acting nomination for an Academy Award for their work in a Star Wars film? Who is the only person to receive an acting nomination for an Academy Award for their work in a Star Wars film? Question number eight, what are Mace Windu's final words? What are Mace Windu's final words? Number nine, what was the first piece of Star Wars media ever released? Hint, is not the 1977 film. What was the first piece of Star Wars media ever released? Hint, it's not the 1977 film. And question 10. Expected to feature characters such as Han Solo, Lando Calrissian, and Boba Fett, what was the working title of the planned live-action Star Wars television series that entered development in early 2009? Expected to feature characters such as Han Solo, Lando Calrissian, and Boba Fett, what was the working title of the planned live-action Star Wars television series that entered development in early 2009? That's no moon. That's our answers to these 10 questions coming up right after this. 
Welcome back. We are getting into our answers on these difficult Star Wars questions. Number one was, what forest planet are Wookiees native to? The Wookiees home planet is known as Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk. Our second question was, how many Star Wars films does Boba Fett make an appearance in? A hugely popular character, obviously, Boba Fett makes an appearance in three Star Wars films. Three. He appears in Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, and he shows up as a little youngster in Attack of the Clones. And if you count the special editions, he's actually edited into A New Hope. So if you count the special editions, the answer here is four. Question number three, first appearing in Return of the Jedi, who is the closest associate and chief aide of the crime lord Jabba the Hutt? You can't out Jabba the Hutt, but his chief aide is Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna makes a brief appearance in the Mandalorian series. Number four, what horrific event drove the Mandalorians into hiding? That event is known as the Great Purge. The Great Purge. Question number five. What is the name of the only female of Yoda's species that has been seen in a Star Wars film or show? This character appears in The Phantom Menace, but is only named in the credits, and then she appears in the animated series Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, where she is voiced by Bryce Dallas Howard. She is Yaddle. Yaddle. Number six, who is the host of the web-based children's game show where contestants compete as Padawans in a series of obstacle courses and knowledge tests titled Jedi Temple Challenge? The host of Jedi Temple Challenge is Ahmed Best, best known as the actor behind Jar Jar Binks. Ahmed Best, who actually shows up in an episode of The Mandalorian as his character from Jedi Temple Challenge. Fun Easter egg. Question number seven, who is the only person to receive an acting nomination for an Academy Award for their work in a Star Wars film? This performer got a nomination for Best Actor in a Supporting Role for A New Hope. He is Obi-Wan Kenobi himself, Alec Guinness. Alec Guinness. Number eight, what are Mace Windu's final words? In that epic scene, Mace Windu's final words are, he's too dangerous to be left alive. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Question number nine, what was the first piece of Star Wars media ever released? Hint, it's not the 1977 film. That first piece of Star Wars media was Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker. Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker, the novelization of the 1977 film Star Wars, first published on November 12, 1976, six months before the film released. And number 10, expected to feature characters such as Han Solo, Lando Calrissian, and Boba Fett. What was the working title of the planned live-action Star Wars television series that entered development in early 2009? Man, this show sounded super awesome. George Lucas was behind it before he sold Star Wars to Disney, but apparently ABC deemed the show too expensive to produce. Maybe one day Disney will do something with the scripts because they wrote a bunch of them. The working title for this potential show was Underworld. If you're interested in it, look it up on Wikipedia. There's some cool information about it. It is called Underworld. Once again, I want to give a big happy 22nd birthday message to Matt and thank you to his girlfriend Sarah for reaching out and supporting the show. Sarah will go down in No Chit Chat Trivia History as the first person to help bring us a hard mode episode. So thank you, Sarah. If you want to choose a topic for a future episode or dedicate an episode to a friend, check out the show notes on how to go about doing that. Thank you for flying with No Chit Chat Trivia. Bye bye <laughs> <laughs>